here with two of my current most favorite bikes. This is my motorcycle. It's a Yamaha FZ07 and it's the perfect bike for me because the standover isn't too high and I'm not super tall so this is perfect for me because I can reach the ground and I feel super comfortable on this bike. And the bike is super versatile so I can ride on a whole bunch of different types of roads. This thing is my brand new gravel bike. It's a BMC Urs. U-R-S, pronounced Urs. I've never had a gravel bike in my entire life and at first I thought that they were just these gimmicky things that the bike industry came up with to encourage us to buy more bikes. Not that we needed any encouragement. And you know, I've had a lot of really cool adventures on my road bike on gravel roads, so I didn't think that I needed a gravel bike, but as soon as I tried this thing, I was convinced. My Urs is set up with SRAM's mullet drivetrain. You gotta love that name, huh? Mullet means that there's road shifters in the front and then we have mountain bike equipment in the back. This is the Axis system that works with Bluetooth signals, so there aren't even any like cables or wires anywhere. You'll notice too that I only have one chain ring and this is my first time with a one by bicycle, which is pretty cool. I don't even need to have a front derailleur. And in the back, we make up for the lack of double uh, chain rings with this huge cassette the size of like a dinner plate. I'm running a 1052, so 10 is the smallest gear, 52 is the biggest. And 52, it might seem a little bit exaggerated, but it, when you start getting into the really off-road stuff and the single tracky stuff, this bike can actually take you through it. It's amazing, I totally love it. The reason that the Urz is like the perfect gravel bike for me is because the geometry is very similar to that of a road bike. And I mean, I am a roadie at heart, this is where my roots are and I still do road cycling as my main cycling discipline. So I didn't want to deviate too far from what I'm used to. The one thing that makes this a little bit different than a strict road geometry though, is the head tube angle. So it's a little bit um, more slack, kind of like a mountain bike. And that means that the wheelbase of this bike is going to be a little bit wider, making it more stable on loose gravel conditions and gnarly kind of stuff. But this really short stem is short like you'd see on a mountain bike. And that means that it will have the same type of handling off-road as you would get on a mountain bike, which is pretty cool. See this insert here? This is the MTT technology from BMC and it allows for 15 millimeters of travel. So that's not too much, so the bike is still pretty rigid like a road bike, but it offers just enough like cushioning so that I can go on some really bouncy stuff and still come out alive. I like it. I love this bike. Check out this, you probably noticed this bike rack. This bike rack has changed my life because, well, I can motorcycle to my destinations, have a lot of fun getting there, and then I have a lot of fun on my bicycle. Best of all the world, right? Come on, let's go ride. Here's one modification that I did right away to this gravel bike so that it would be a little bit more like my road bike. I put these bars on. So it came with these really wide flared out handlebars, but on my road bike, I'm used to riding a very, very narrow bars, like 36, 38 maximum. And I had some, so I swapped them onto this bike and it made the position just perfect for me. I also put a Prologo saddle that was very similar to the type of saddle that I've been riding for the past five years on the bike. And I truly feel like I'm at home on this thing. I heard that I should probably use some mountain bike pedals on a gravel bike, but um, I haven't found any that I really am convinced I wanna use and I still need to find some gravel shoes too. So I'm making do with what I have. That's okay in cycling too, right? So I've been riding a motorcycle for the past six years. And in Quebec, it's kind of a long process to get your motorcycle license. It takes about a year and you have to go through some pretty rigorous classes and testing. Even if I wasn't intending to ride a motorcycle after having followed those classes, I still would have wanted to follow the courses just so that I could learn all the handling and skills that you learn in them because they really carry over to riding a bicycle. All of the stuff that I've learned while riding a motorcycle has made me a better road cyclist and I think that the things that I know as a road cyclist help me to be a better motorcyclist too. So that has to do with how you handle the bike, where to ride, where to look and how to be safe around other traffic, how to keep your radar on for other obstacles. Like you kind of have to have eyes all over your head in a way. <laughs> We 
we're in the eastern townships of Quebec and I chose to scout out this place on my motorcycle because I found a lot of gravel roads in this area when I was checking out gravelmaps.com. I've also been using Strava to check out the rides that my road cycling friends who are getting into gravel cycling have been doing too. I'm getting pretty inspired by their adventures. I'm not the only cyclist who loves motorcycling. Emily Batty, she rides a dirt bike. Olympic athlete Mike Friedman has a motorcycle with a sidecar that he keeps his dog Wally in. Lynn Bisset rides a motorcycle too. And Tour de France rider David Veilleur, I'm pretty sure also has a motorcycle. For now, I'm training for the race across America that's happening in 2021. Gravel is perfect for this. I love all the built-in intervals that you get with gravel roads. You get a lot more steep pitches than you do on the roads. It's great for training. Race Across America, we're gonna be going through all different types of conditions. We're gonna be riding through the desert, through mountains, through the plains. We're gonna be riding day and night. In gravel cycling, you get a real mixed bag of conditions and terrain too. Oh man, this is a good effort. If you get a chance to try a gravel bike, definitely give it a shot. I hope I inspired you to try something new. Maybe a motorcycle? I'm gonna head back to my motorcycle now, but first I'll get a few more kilometers of gravel in. Have a good ride. <laughs>